my overriding message to you tonight, uh, my lovely people, is um, we're doomed. I just want to tell you, just get it straight, we're doomed, we're fucked, we're all going to hell. Um, welcome to the comedy show. We are fucked. Bush gets elected and you can hear half the fucking world going, I'm going to take up flying lessons. <laughs> the Countryside Alliance demonstration in London. <laughs> I have never cheered the police before in my life. <laughs> never. <laughs> Cheer them, I wanted to fucking sponsor them. I've got videos of that, I play it back. Look at the baton, the architecture of the ark, that's marvellous. And of course, all the upper class wandering around with that, good Lord, they're hitting us, good Lord. <laughs> you, in the blue, you'll never work my estate again, go away. <laughs> the only trick the police missed, they should have sent the mounted horse brigade in after them. <laughs> the countryside alliance scatter, go to the alleyways of London, dig them out, they've gone to ground, hurrah. <laughs> And I know people go, yes, Mark, but you just hate fox hunting and want to see it banned because you believe it to be the sport of the upper class. And this is mere class hatred and spite on your part. Yes. <laughs> You're absolutely right. And I'll tell you this for now. Once we've got fox hunting, we're coming for opera and polo. I want to see every last ounce of pleasure squeezed out of the landed gentry. Fucking nothing left. All they've got is sitting in their mansions looking out the window as ramblers walk across their lawn. That's what I want. Charging across in revolutionary bobble hat, shaking Kendall mint cake in anger. But Mark, you don't understand. The fox is a pest. So are cockroaches. I don't get dressed up and chase them over the sofa with a bugle. Grow up. And I'll be, Mark, you don't understand, because you see, fox hunting these days is very D-class A. Everyone's doing it. Oh, yes. Like the Charleston. Everyone's doing it. What we do, this is how the upper class give up fox hunting forever. Take them at their word. D-class A, fucking great. Thousands of Herberts from South London council estates churn up on nicked ponies. <laughs> All right, fucking joining in nicely. All right. Got a bit of Burberry, thought I'd blend it, all right? <laughs> Nicely. Here we go, where's the fucking ashtray on the neck? What's going on? In fact, maybe have a couple of speakers on the back of the saddle. Boom, -dum 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 -dum. Raised horses, hooves, and little neon lights on the back. <laughs> I should say, I did get into trouble with some uh, hunt saboteurs recently who gave me a T-shirt. And on the T-shirt it said, words mean nothing, actions everything. And I merely said, well, why did you write that? <laughs> if there are any Americans, um, I just want to say you're welcome. That's all I wanted to say, you're welcome. I'm obviously going to criticise American foreign policy. It's not aimed at you, all right? If you take offence, I'm sorry, just regard it as friendly fire. So... <laughs> What's the difference between an Iraqi civilian and a British soldier? I don't know. Welcome to the American Army. <laughs> now, my favourite anti-war banner was also American. Three words. Lesbians against Bush. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Oh, it works on so many levels. Um, so, yes, America hasn't quite got the hang of this liberation gig. I don't think they ever have. They have a charge of... We liberated you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. No, 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 we liberated you. We got rid of Saddam Hussein. No, thank you. Fuck off. No, we liberated you. Hello, suicide bombers? Do you do requests? <laughs> now, before you start going, oh, he's fucking endorsing suicide bombers. <laughs> uh, that's fucking it for me, mate. I'm fucking old. Seriously, I'm not. I'm just, it's a fucking difficult job, isn't it? Suicide bombers. There's not exactly a career ladder here, is there? <laughs> How do they recruit? Do they have adverts in the local paper? Bored with life, no friends, must have own car. I merely ask. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's incredible. Then the pictures came out of Abu Ghraib, of the prison, of the torture, of the mayhem, and Bush appeared on Arabic television that was broadcast all across the world. And he stood there and said, these pictures do not show the America I know. Really? 
Really? Well, I bet there are people in Argentina, Chile, Bolivia, Peru, Colombia, Ecuador, Venezuela, Panama, Nicaragua, El Salvador, Guatemala, St. Kitts, Grenada, Cuba, uh, Angola, Namibia, South Africa, Lesotho, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Somalia, Sudan, Congo, Nigeria, Burkina Faso, Liberia, Western Sahara, Libya, Egypt, Iran, Iraq, Syria, Yemen, Palestine, Saudi Arabia, Afghanistan, Vietnam, Aceh, Cambodia, East Timor, Laos, and the Philippines going, looks remarkably familiar to us. I'll tell you what we should do for world peace. Invade America. <laughs> Who's up for it? Yeah. Oh, fucking hell, we, we, could, we, could, we could raise a fucking army. <laughs> That'd be fucking great. Now's the time to invade America because there aren't that many troops actually in the country anymore. <laughs> now, with all this stuff about the war on terror, uh, for Israel was fucking incredible. They were just remarkable during the whole invasion of Iraq. Get them over there. Who? Iraq. They're terrible. <laughs> they've ignored UN resolution after UN resolution. Ooh, they've got weapons of mass destruction and they've taken other people's territory. They're dreadful. <laughs> it, the cheek of it, it's like the Catholic Church going, the paedophiles went that away.